WRSU FM New Brunswick, 88.7 on the dial, and worldwide at WRSU.org. This is Rutgers Radio, 88.7 WRSU FM. Hey everybody, I'm Brett Radler, General Manager of WRSU for the 2010-2011 school year, and I'm pretty much here to oversee the day-to-day operations of the station and also make sure that all the departments work seamlessly together to make the best radio possible. How are you guys doing? I'm Jason Goldstein, Program Director for the 2010-2011 academic school year. And basically, as Program Director, it is my job to create the schedule for the four seasons, summer, fall, winter, and then spring. So basically, it is up to us to get a variety of entertainment types of shows on the air throughout our various departments that include music, news, sports, community affairs, anything you can think of, any new ideas you guys have. We're trying to get as many students on the air as possible because we are a student-run radio station. We're an educational radio station. So we want to offer that variety to you and show you what WRSU happens to be about. Let's kind of open up the doors here to WRSU and show you around. As you walk in, you can see you have lots of lockers where you can store your CDs, maybe even some records. And there are so many different ways you can get involved with WRSU. That's the beauty of it. I mean, you can work in news, sports, production, promotions, engineering. You don't just have to be a DJ on air, so that's the beautiful thing about it. And in fact, later on, we're going to take you through all of our different department directors and have you meet them and learn all about the things we do here at RSU that you might hear, you know, the behind the scenes stuff you might not see, but you hear on the air, so it's pretty cool. We'll also, give you, uh, we'll also give you a look into our vast record library. We even have vinyl in there, so it's really good. It is our prime goal as general manager and program director of WRSU for this upcoming school year to work together throughout the departments, cross promotion, everyone help each other out. We, our goal is to make WRSU one of the top college radio stations in the country. And to tell you the truth, we're not that far off. So we really want you to see what we have to offer. Come check it out. Continuing our tour here on WRSU and oh. see we have uh, Joe, our music hey, director Brett. here in our wide, wide music library. How you doing, Joe? Here I am. We're in our huge music library. I was just putting away a couple CDs. What have you been throwing in there today? Uh, well, we've got some rock in here, but all over the place we have jazz, we have metal, we have hip-hop. we got pretty much everything you could possibly want. Yeah. Everything, huh? Yeah, pretty much. And I know that we, we're known for playing such a wide variety of music, so all the DJs, you know, if they want to find something new and exciting, but also maybe something a little retro and classic, this is where they come, right? Well, yeah, we try and stick to an alternative kind of indie rock format from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., but then after that, you know, we specialize in community shows, world programming, and genres all across the board. Right, uh, anything new or exciting come into playlist this week? Oh, definitely. We got some great local music in. We have awesome stuff from Brooklyn. There's always bands in Brooklyn putting out stuff. We got stuff <laughs> from all over the country this week. It's great. Excellent. Well, I will let you get back to, uh, you know, organizing our library. I know it's not an easy task, so... No, it's going to take forever. <laughs> have fun, and thanks for showing us around. All right, no all right, problem. See you later, Joe. So Linder will kick it off. 10 on 1 left to go here in the third quarter as he kicks it off over to Devin McCourty around the 10 yard line. Now McCourty cups up field. Now back over. He has a man to beat. That's Linder. He's going down the field to the 40, to the 30, to the 25, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Rutgers. That's Joe LaFedge with the kickoff return, not Devin McCourty. Now, in addition to being program director here at WRSU, I'm also a proud member of our sports staff. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to the sports director for the upcoming school year, Mike Robinson. Now, Mike, why don't you tell them what we do here in the sports department at WRSU? WRSU Sports is your home for Rutgers sports all year round. We bring home every Rutgers football, men's and women's basketball game on the air, home and away, live play-by-play -play coverage. We also do select soccer games, some baseball games as well, a few lacrosse games in there. We have two talk shows during the week that not only the staff here can express their opinions on Scarlet Knight sports, but also fans can call in and give their thoughts on the state of Rutgers sports as well. Fuller will inbound it under the basket. McCurdy up top guarding her. Gives it over to Rogers. Rogers throws up a shot. No good. And we will head to overtime here in the Excel Center. Here at 88.7 WRSU-FM, New Brunswick. 
and it's truly a great thing to be a part of the sports department here at WRSU because not only you don't have to be a play-by-play guy to join the sports staff, we have guys that can edit, that can operate the board, that can produce, that want to do sideline reporting, that want to do spotting. Basically, anything you want to do that involved in Rutgers Intercollegiate Athletics, we offer here in the sports department at WRSU, and we love for you to be a part of that. Welcome to the WRSU production studio. Now I want to introduce you to our production director for 2010-2011, Jenna Bauer. Hi, Jenna. How you doing? I'm good, Brett. How are you? Very good. Hello, and welcome to the production department here at WRSU, the place where you get to learn everything that goes on behind the scenes. The production staff here at the station does everything from writing scripts to recording PSAs, promos, and sweepers, and you also get to learn the fun and exciting operations of the soundboard, and you get to learn how to use the cool editing system. And more importantly, you get to gain experience doing voiceover work. As soon as I came into the production department, I found it to be a very interesting area of the radio station. Whenever you think of radio, you always think about the DJs and the live shows and everything that goes on on air, but you don't get to learn about all the cool things and all the people that are behind the scenes and help make the show go on. Okay, Jenna, let's take a look at what you've been working on. I'm sure you've got some great stuff to let the listeners hear and also show everybody how it's done. Can you investigate a mock crime scene, enjoy live music performances, or cheer as the Scarlet Knights compete? Only at Rutgers Day, Saturday, April 24th. Bring the entire family to campuses in New Brunswick and Piscataway for a fun-filled day of learning, hands-on activities, and entertainment. All in one place, all in one day, for everyone. Rutgers Day, Saturday, April 24th, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Don't forget to stop by the New Jersey Folk Festival on Douglas Campus at Riders Lane in George Street. The WRSU crew will be broadcasting live from 10 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. For more information, you can visit explore.rutgers.edu. That's a sample of what we do here in the production department. You, too, can come be on the air. Now let's take a look at our brand new state-of-the-art digital FM control room. Come on in. Yesterday we reported on the mine blast at West Virginia's Upper Big Branch coal mine, and today we have more sad news. A total of 25 miners have been killed, making this the deadliest mine disaster since 1984, and there are still four miners missing. It has been revealed that the company that owns the mine, Massey Energy, has been cited for violations three times in the month of March. These violations were related to ventilation and air quantity standards, which may have set off a highly combustible methane gas explosion. Twilight mania. Watch out, teens. Twy moms are on the prowl. Outside the Nokia Theater in L.A., fans have been camping in tents for the Twilight Eclipse premiere. The Los Angeles Times examines the phenomenon of fans whose lives have been turned upside down by their fierce love of the vampire books and movies. The Times has found women who have nearly lost their marriages by neglecting their husbands in favor of Twilight fan sites, blogs, and message boards. One woman gushes that she has seen the movie over 300 times. So, what is the obsession over for these moms? One fifty year old former engineer mother stated you get that utopic feeling of first love and you want to experience it over and over again so is it a twilight addiction or a wanting to be loved addiction that's a wrap for tonight thanks for listening i'm simeon bukal at wrsu fm new brunswick have a great night Hey, we're continuing our tour hey. through WRSU, and this is Simeon, our news director. Hi, how are you? How you doing? I'm great. You how are you? <laughs> I know it's uh, just heard a, the Twilight Saga. It's hitting moms now, huh? Yeah, it's crazy. I, I love it, too, so I'm, I'm a little bit guilty. <laughs> <laughs> but. Well, we're going around and showing everybody the different departments we have here at WRSU, and we couldn't leave news out, <laughs> so we, we wanted to come by and talk to you and see you know, what, what news is all about. So uh, since you've been here, what are the... What are the things you love about being in the news department? Um, I just love the experience that I've been able to gain here. I haven't, didn't do much before, and when I came here, you know, I was able to hear what I sounded like on air, uh, meet people, and get out of my comfort zone a little bit and experience and see if this is really what you know I want to do. Yeah, I think we certainly have fun here. I mean, you know, you've learned that working with the news department. 
And so what are the some of, uh, what are some of the things that you guys have done? I mean, I remember the Obama Corzine rally last summer. I mean, that was amazing. That was amazing. I, I got the opportunity to go to the elections um, to support the Obama administration. It was a chance of a lifetime. We got pre press passes. I got backstage. Um, I was able to meet a number of people, you know, network, and it really made us feel like you know we're pretty big. Yeah. You know, a big deal because we were backstage interviewing people, so that's the type of things that you get to do working, you know, volunteering here. It's, yeah. And I'm sure that there are big things in store for you guys in the next year, so if you're interested in joining news, you know, Simeon's the person to see. So yeah. thank you so much for Definitely. taking the time to talk to us. Thank you. The more people, the better, so come on out. All right. Well, enjoy. I hope you are getting work done for tomorrow's broadcast. I'm sure it's going to be great. Yeah. For sure, you know. Oh. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye. Thanks, you Bye. too, Simeon. Bye. Hey, Alex, how you doing? Doing all right. How you doing, Brett? Pretty good. We're giving everybody a tour of the station here and uh, meeting different managers. So, everybody, this is Alex Goldman, our chief announcer for 2010-2011. And I just about to start your show, right? Uh, yeah, I actually was. I was about to get it kicked off. Excellent. Well, what we want to know is, what do you love most about being a DJ here at WRSU? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, there's so many things. I get to be on the radio, I get to be over the air, I get to discover new music, I get to play the music I love. There's really no downside to it. I love being here. That's good. And I mean, I know a lot of people often say, oh, it's got to be hard to be a DJ or I, I could never do it. So how easy was it for you to become a DJ here at RSU? Actually, not hard at all. I mean, all you have to do is email me at ca at wrsu.org. Attend the policy class, and from there it's an eight week training process to become a DJ. By the end of the semester, you could be well on your way to having your own show. Perfect. So, if you want to be on the air, Alex is the guy to see. Uh, get this next song loaded up. WRSUFM, New Brunswick, Rutgers Original Alternative. This is Alex, what we just heard was The Killers with Spaceman, and up next we have You Somebody by Kings of Leon. Alright, well if you want to be on the air like Alex, you know all you have to do is email him at ca at wrsu.org, and I'm sure he'll hook you up with some good classes, seminars, and everything you need to get started and be a DJ here on RSU. So thank you for taking some time out of your day and your show to talk to us. No problem, man. It's been great. Alright, have, have a good rest one. of the show. You too. you too. See you later. Hey Matt, how you doing? Hey Brett. We're here taking a tour here at RSU and we're going around all the different departments and we're running into you here, our tech director. So what are you doing tonight? So I was going to put this, uh, this compressor in, but it can wait a second. And pretty much the tech department is responsible for so much. I mean, you know, you guys helped to put in our new studio here, the, uh, the board, the computers, CD players, mini disc players, record players, telephones, headphones, you know, you name it, you guys helped put it in. I think that the big thing about the tech department is, without you guys, we wouldn't be on the air. Yeah. Ever. No. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so, I mean, besides doing that, you know, just building and maintaining equipment, I know you also help out with uh, with running the board and board hopping and doing right. special events or remote broadcasts. I mean, so you kind of dabble in a lot of different areas. Yeah, of the a station, lot of different right? stuff. We we actually went with Simeon to the um, to the Obama um, rally thing. Oh, that's and, uh, you know, I didn't have to talk in there or anything, but I still got a press pass and all that cool stuff, and I was able to go and sit there and uh, just set up the equipment and kind of, like, watch for the rest of the day, so that was cool. Sounded like a good job, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I know that you guys are always looking for more people to help j to join your team, right? Yeah, I mean, like, you didn't have to know anything. I mean, we'll teach you anything. Um, we need people to do, you know, stuff like just sit and run the board for certain news broadcasts or for other special events. You know, things that the normal DJ wouldn't know how to do, but but you would. Anything. Anything like that. You know, if you want to get your hands on all this flashy equipment, Matt's the guy to talk to. So if you have any questions about the tech department, you can go to him. Yep. So anything else, Matt? Are you all good? You want to put that in that compressor? Yeah, I had to get back to doing this. All right. Well, thank you, Matt. <laughs> have fun. Thanks. See you later. So now that you met all of our managers, we look forward to having you join us here at Rutgers Radio. WRSUFM. I've been roaming